Hey, you know how I like to talk about Jazzwares toys? Uh, something I haven't mentioned in a long time was the regular show toy line. And, um, check out the new version of the 6-inch Mordecai figure. To my knowledge, this is the third unique Mordecai mold that they've released. Uh, the initial mold was an embarrassment. The hips went the wrong way, the elbows went the wrong way, it was just terrible. But now let's take a look at the third incarnation. Oh, by the way, the second incarnation was the same as the first incarnation except with these fixed tips. So this version of Mordecai, the hips go the right way, and check it out. Instead of simply bending inward, his elbows have been designed to be universal. They would bend forward and they would swivel on the bicep joint so that they could go inwards as well. And the knees have been given the same treatment. They're universal. So this guy would be able to take on much more natural poses including something that the initial Mordecai couldn't do. Sit! He also comes with some pretty nifty, um, you know, items, uh, accessories, yes. A bottle of soda, and a lawnmower. The Rigby figure is also improved. He has proper elbows, and no, no knees, but he has ankles, which is cool. Comes with a pot of coffee and the power glove. Yeah, these are really good improvements, and it's nice to see that they can they can dedicate the time to the regular show license as much as they do to the Sonic license. Oh yeah, check out the new the new the new deluxe Golden Sword of Battle. It's Finn's sword, but uh, look at that thing, and it has 20 action phrases. You ready to go again, tough stuff? Tell me more about this. And many more. I mean, this is a pretty big sword, too. It's almost as big as Caliburn. Look, I set it down on the ground, and uh, it comes up to my to my waist. I know it's hard to see, but that is my waist. So, yeah. This is... This is actually the kind of sword that, um... That an actual-sized person could take. I'll do anything it takes. What's up? And it has all those cute little nicks that Finn's sword has in the cartoon. You know, this is... This is an impressive accessory sword. I mean... Seriously. It's good to see that... That for these cartoon licenses... That, um... That they... That Jazzwares would make such high quality toys for it. I mean, I... I am totally digging this. Okay, today I am in Kmart, and I was looking at the Ninja Turtles toys when I found these guys. They're, um, they're the young versions of Leonardo and Donatello. That is so cute. These are the first toys I've ever seen of the young turtles. Um, articulation seems to be relatively basic for these guys. I see universal shoulders, a waist joint... Uh, no movement at either of the legs, and it looks like they have a neck swivel. So, comparatively basic articulation, and as for height, I think they would be about 3 inches tall. The leg splay makes them a little bit shorter, but yeah, that would be about 3 inches tall. Um, I don't know, the articulation is a little bit more limited, but if somebody wanted, say, Tommy Turtle from the Sonic comic, I might use one of these as a base because they do have the right size, and they do hit the anthropomorphic turtle look. And that's, uh, that's just your cool ninja turtles. If I waltz over here, past the How to Train Your Dragon, over to the Transformers section, you can see that those new, those new, uh, super cool Transformers that come with, uh, comic books are in stock. Um, this one's just a repaint. It's Thundercracker, made from Fall of Cybertron Starscream. But uh, they also have the new version of Megatron that turns into a stealth jet, which is pretty cool. It's a B2 bomber. And then, this is really awesome. It's the um, Orion Pax. To my knowledge, this is the first official toy of Orion Pax ever made. 
uh, for the record, that is Optimus before he became a Prime. And he looks really cool. I mean, he's only deluxe size, and normally I don't like Optimuses that are deluxe size. But for Orion, I would give it a pass because, you know, he's the young Optimus. He has not yet become a Prime, so I can imagine maybe when he turned into a Prime, he grew in physical size. Of course, that doesn't explain why Megatron is only deluxe size. Uh, yeah, well, uh, if you have a bunch of Scout-sized figures, you can put him and then he'd be decently tall next to them. Also, the new Bumblebee surprised me. I mean, Bumblebee toys are so common. Like, when I heard of a new one, I was like, oh boy, another Bumblebee. But, nah, this guy looks pretty good. I like him. Uh, shoulder kibble is... It actually might surpass drifts in terms of gigantic massiveness. But, you know, he is a pretty good-looking Bumblebee. I really like him. You know, I mean, his alt mode is still a Camaro, and i not exactly in love with the Camaro alt mode, but... I don't know, this is a much nicer looking Bumblebee than I've seen for a while. Even even the Transformers Prime version, which... Oh, I'll pick that up. You know, the Transformers Prime version... Well, this is Murder Bee from Beast Hunters, but... Yeah. I, I always figured that this was too Linefeldian. I didn't really like it too much. Of course, nothing's ever going to be cooler than this guy. Which I said completely facetiously. Don't go typing in the comments about... How there are so many more Transformers that are cooler than this guy, but yeah, he's awesome. I love, I love Springer. Oh, they also have the Springer remold, which is a uh, Sandstorm, and holy crap, does this guy look awesome? You can barely even tell it's a remold, because despite using the same engineering, it's a very different looking figure. And his alternate mode of um, a VTOL vehicle. A VTOL vehicle combined with a car. These are very unique looking molds that really differentiate him from Springer, despite the fact that he's a remold. So, I approve these new Transformers toys, and I approve of uh, Child, Donnie, and, my and Leonardo. So yeah, I generally approve. <laughs>